So we are trying to use the delete model, which was not working because whenever I click it, I am seeing same ID all the time. That means we need to 4Z, 4VZ. That means we need to we need to fix this one. Let me remove this one. I don't need this. I don't need this one right now. I don't need this one. I'm deleting all the console.log. Okay, now when I click this delete this list, I, I will try to see in the console.log what's happening. So when I click the delete, so when I click this delete this record, I am sending the details of the value that is this value, and it's not going somehow. I'm getting same message ID every time. Okay, so now why? Let's see what is the details coming in the detail model. So if I go to the delete model and I'll try to see. What are the props coming? So when I click the first one, I'm getting props, which are all three. But then I'm getting ID of one, two, and three. So when I'm clicking delete, I'm getting the ID of all of them. That's not correct. That's not correct. So I'll again do this. Okay, now I'm getting only one uh, because I'm just calling the rate from the model. Let's try again. I click second, I'm getting three one. So that's not good. So what I will do, I will move this delete one outside the map, outside this map. So I'm putting this delete outside the map. Now when user will click the delete this list, I will try to set uh, some state variable. Maybe I can say delete detail record equal to value. So what I will set, I will set some variable it variable and here I'm saying one more variable called as delete detail record initially it would be null when user will click delete button I will update that delete detail record to that value and here I will say if I have this dot state dot delete detail record then only to so the detail model And here I will pass the message will be so all will be value is nothing but the de delete detail record. So I will just say well ID will be this dot state dot delete detail record. Close will call close delete record will call that this dot delete record dot find it's fine. And the delete model is but this is true or false if it is true that means show the delete model and if this is false then don't show the model so anyhow i am putting this check here but this is an additional check if i have this true then only show the delete box and the details will not be the value it will be this dot state dot delete detail record now we will go back and test it again so I'll 
click this now i'm getting only the one prox that is the one which we are trying to delete it it's the second one it's the third one so whatever record i am clicking i am able to uh, see the props for that record here also you'll see id is different id is different and id is different so what we did we put the state variable with the record which we want to delete and we show based on the state variable now when user click the close I change the state to delete mode to false. And I also should change the delete detail record to null because I don't need that one. Once I click close, I don't need the reference of that one. I will remove this. Uh, okay, that's fine. I will remove this props from here. And when user will click delete record, I have that record already in the so I am passing the record here details. Let's see what is coming in the as a record. So I will not check check what is coming in the record deleted. So let's refresh it. Okay, now. I will delete the first record. So I am showing the delete record and do you want to release the record? I'll say delete record. So I'm able to get the ID of PAX. And if I click second one, I'm able to get the ID of VIV7P. I'm clicking third record i'm able to get the id of third record that is 4vz so that means i'm able to get proper id now i need to delete it so what i will do i'm getting this proper id but now i want to delete it and to delete it i need the url url is this one okay let's get the url when i was adding it the url is this one and i will put that url here after list i want so if i go here database so after list i have the list id so here I will say after list, I will say record dot, what was coming in the record dot, record dot underscore ID. And this will be my URL and I will go to that reference and I'll just say, set null. If I say null, it will remove all the details. Let's try it out. So let's first try to delete the record. Okay, I click click the deleted. It got deleted from the Firebase, but I'm not able to. Uh, I did not close it, and I did not put. Uh, I did not did anything. So if you see right now, I have I have only two record. One is songs, and one is the default. These are created by Tony, these two are created by Tony. Uh, so I deleted it, but it's not removing this pop-up. So let's remove the pop-up. So I'll call this dot close. After I delete it, I'll say this dot close. I'll close the pop-up. And I should also refresh the data, so I'll get the data again. Let's try now. So let's delete this one. I close it and I call the data. So if I delete this one, this is the default one. It should not allow me to delete it or write.
not put that feature, but in future I need to put that if this is the default one, I should be able to delete. I should not be able to delete it. Uh, but right now it's okay. Let it be there. And here I will just remove the delete text. So right now I have only three listings. These two are created by Tony, so it's not visible to me. So I have only default one. Let's try to delete now that one. Okay, I, I don't want to delete that one right now. So I have put so many things. Okay, so now I can see this one. Let's, let's make some kids old songs. Maybe I can put uh, some games also. Whatever I want to make, I will make that one. And then I can add videos. I can add categories. For and I can add videos. Let's go to the home page. So in the home page, we built this one, though I have to put the category, subcategory part here, which I will do in some time, not today. Let's try to build another view called as view two. And we'll see that. So let's try to copy first view one into view two, and then we'll take it from there. So if I copy, this is view1.js. I will copy to view2.js. Let's make call the view2.css. I will copy view1 to view2. Right now I'm copying it, but uh, I will change it later on. So I'm saying view2 details. And I'm calling view two details. This is also view two. This is view two. So view two is exactly not same as view one. So I'm calling view two. I'm getting exact same look as view one. Both are same in looks. Now I'll change the looks in both the cases. Let's see about you too. So if I'm not getting props, I'm not passing it. So first thing which I will check is what are the videos? Let's check what are the videos. Console.log videos. I'm getting videos are in the view too. There are 10 videos. I'm showing it 10 videos. Let's try to make uh, top three as a featured videos. So maybe I can say I can say let I'll make a separate one. Let Featured videos is equal to null. And if we get videos and we get videos dot videos first one that is a zero one, <coughs> I will say so. Maybe I can say initially featured videos equal to empty array. And then I can say third or or I can say null null is good one. Let's make it null. Or and featured video one I will name it as one. If I have video zero, featured video will be videos of zero like this I will create 
three one this is two two i can create also an array or i can create separate variable let's try to create uh, array maybe let's try array i can make null dot push i will push it and if we have one number i will push it the one number and if it has two number i will push two number and here i let's say do console dot lock okay so now we have featured video as a top three are the featured videos so we get the featured videos okay so we got the featured videos now since uh, let's say if we want to display right now this is only the image but if we want to say the youtube one if we go to the detail one you will see what things we have done i call this import of the youtube same thing i will do in the youtube So I did one thing this as a change and another thing which I did is I created this opt. So let's put that one here. I created opt. Let's try now uh, to let's say initially I don't want the container, I want only div tag. And inside data, I will create class name equal to Jumbotron. And inside Jumbotron, let's see how it looks now. So I got some Jumbotron here. I will remove this space between these two. So inside Jumbotron, I will create the create the container row and column. I will close the column, close the row, close the container. So here we can say, here maybe I can say, I want one column of eight parts and another column of four parts. Let's see now how it looks. Okay, we don't see any difference. So now I will be building different types of views. This is the second view. And now here I will see if we have, if we have featured video, dot length should be greater than zero <clears throat> and uh, i will put some i will put some div here i want featured video dot length greater than zero and i want there should be something in featured video of zero because zero is the first feature video so let's try to put some div tag is we have got in the detail page okay now i say embed responsive this one youtube video id let's see video id the video id will be inside the Featured videos dot video input ID. So this is the video input ID. So I will say video ID will be featured in featured video of zero dot video input ID. Ops will be the ops which is this one, and this will be the same. So same thing. Okay. Now 
inside this 12 div i will create for example div class name equal to row div class name equal to all md12 okay so i created one class of 12 and inside that 12 so i have the row and i have 12 one let's copy this again for another one so here I will put feature video 2 and feature video 3. So let's copy this part and put it inside this. So here I'll say if I have feature video 1, I'll get the one I input ID. Similarly, I'll copy this and I'll paste it here. Here I have 2 and two let's see now it looks so here we have the since this video is deleted i have to make the delete of this video so right now i'm not uh, showing this one so now this one is not there video is not over so this is a main jumbotron where i have three top featured videos top three and below part we will do fix it something let's fix this margin so let's try to do that now. so what is it called let's see So I have nav multi nav bar. Okay, so nav bar is showing this yellow color. That means this is the where we have it. So this is the nav bar. It has a, it has a margin bottom of twelve. removing it but it's not removing it from here okay this is another one okay once i remove this the margin is gone so i need to put nav bar kind of thing so let's try to do that one If I see, okay. Okay. So if I go to main home page, let's see what is there in the home page. I'm calling view one, view two. And I am calling this is a div. So if I see my home page, it starts with the root, and we don't have any reference. So I don't want to change nav bar. It will be done for all the all the modules. I want to only do the changes for this MyFlex one. So why not to go into the layout? In the layout, my fix layout, let's put div with class name equal to my flex. Now, if I go here, I have class name of my flex. Now, I will write all the custom classes using this class. So, let's go to the view2.css and in that, I will say myflix.navbar 
So here I want to make margin bottom equal to zero pixel. Generally, this is already there in the inline CSS, so it will not work. This part will not work. So we have to tell it it's important. Work. Right now I'm deleting the margin and I will be able to see three top videos, featured videos. We can also put carousel in feature. Once I make that carousel from the Netflix or something similar, if I get, I can try to put carousel. That will, we will do it. So though, though this is something featured one, I'm able to, I'm able to see that here in the page only i can view it here only so this one was about uh, uh, this one was about the top one bottom section is something we can keep it this or we will try to find some other view which will only show the images and then we can uh, we can click on the images too. We will put the images and we can see the clicking the image will go to the detail page, which is something like this one. Yeah, this one. Okay, let's go to our admin again. We have to delete this list kind of thing. We can also give the view list so if i go here <clears throat> i can give one more column say view list i'll do with here the view list we have to construct the url for the view list So view list will be directly slash and the ID. So we can build the view list URL and here I will replace with view list URL. So if I want to go default list, default list is this one. If I go on this one, this is my case list or old song. Since we don't have anything, I don't see anything here. So right now only see the filter part. So that's it about the that's it about the view list. We can delete list also. Since this is default one, when I click the view list, I, I can also make it uh, look like I don't, I'm not passing this any URL. But that I will do later now. My test one. So that's it for the today. Any questions?